So hi friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. So this is a very important video for all the students who are going to appear for the advanced exams and it is expected cutoff marks for lowest possible branch for all IIT. That is every IIT's cutoff marks I will talk about for lowest possible branch. That is you just need to enter into the IITs. So, so for example, what, are, what is the minimum marks you need to have? to get into the IIT Delhi or IIT Bombay or IIT Madras or IIT Roorkee so all type of IIT that is all 23 IIT I will be discussing here for all the category male and female as you also know in IIT there is no home state other state quota but there will be category reservation and also male and female reservation so I will be considering everything so if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe the channel so you will be getting the complete information about all the counseling process and entrance exam other than JEM and J advance as well in the same channel so please try to subscribe it's my request to you so let's continue this video so here is the first one it is iit roorkee it was established in 1847 and uh, it, it is one of the top seven iits of india and here is the information category wise i will talk about it for general minimum marks to enter into iit roorkee is 102 marks as of now it can vary that is two marks more or two marks less but it will be around that and for female it is 77 because there is female separate reservation available and for obc 83 marks and for ews 96 marks and for SC it is 68 marks and 59 marks it is not 108 marks it is 68 marks and 59 marks and now if we talk about for ST it is 43 and 47 marks so this was about the IIT Roorkee so now let's talk about the next one that is IIT Guwahati here is the information it was established in 1994 so here is the uh, information about general category 121 and 97 marks and for OBC 98 72 marks so one more thing I would like to inform you if you will think this is the lower IIT than IIT Roorkee how I will get this IIT with more marks so I would like to inform you the newer IIT that that has been that has been established on or after 2000 or around 2000 those IIT are having less branch as compared to other one that is old seven IITs of India uh, those all seven IITs are having multiple branches that is lots of branches so for lowest possible branch you will be able to get it low marks also but other IIT that is newer IIT like IIT Guwahati are not having so much branch like the top seven IIT that's why for lowest possible branch also you will have to score a little bit more mark that is lowest possible branch means here is civil mechanical electrical chemical this type of branches but in IIT Roorkee or any other IITs uh, that is top seven IITs the lowest possible branch means the dual degree course or any uh, matter real science engineering or biotechnology this type of branch are available in that college so hope you get my point so next if you talk about for ews 109 and uh, 86 marks now if you talk about for sc category it is for 54 and 52 marks not 72 it is 52 marks now if you talk about for st it is 59 and 47 marks so now if you talk about the next one that is uh, iit kanpur it was established in 1959 so here is the information that is for general 119 and 101 marks and for OBC 92 and 68 marks, EWS 109 uh, and 88 marks and for SC it is 51 and 70 marks because sometimes more female candidate uh, apply for a particular IIT that's why the cutoff for female candidate is more and cutoff will depend on the number of applicant that is who are applying for a particular IIT if suppose if no one apply for IIT Bombay that is not the case because everyone will apply for IIT Bombay but suppose if that is the case then IIT Bombay cutoff will be 5,000, 10,000 also that is whatever the student who will apply there the uh, they will provide the seat it is not like the 2000 only the cutoff or 200 on rank is the cutoff for, uh, for IIT Bombay or any any other IIT as well so cutoff completely depend on the number of applicant who is applying who are applying for the particular branch of a, of a particular IITs so hope you get my point so now let's talk about for ST 52 and 43 mark uh, now if you talk about the next IIT that is IIT Kharagpur so it was established in 1951 so here is the information that is for general 98 79 marks and for OBC 83 EWS 96 and 72 and for SC 46 and 57 and for ST it is 38 marks only. So now if you talk about the next one that is IIT Dharwad it was established in 2016 so here is the information 108 and 86 marks for general OBC 9369 EWS 101 80 and for SC it is 53 and 46 marks and for ST it is 48 and 53 marks not it is it is only 48 not 148. So now if you talk about the next one that is IIT Delhi. So here is the information 1961 is the establishment date of this college as you all know this is the top 3 IIT of India. So here is the information for general 135, 113 marks will be required for OBC 105 and 77 marks and for EWS 115 and 93. For female you have to uh, score less as compared to male because you are having the reservation there. So now if you talk about the next one SC 6145 and for ST it is 84 and 54 marks. 
So now if we talk about the next one that is IIT Bombay, the dream college of every IIT aspirants. It was established in 1958. So here is the information that is for general 135, 108 marks and for OBC 102 and 83 marks and for EWS 117, 94 marks will be required and for SC 56 and 52 marks and for ST it is 57 and 45 marks, not 97, it is 57. So now if you talk about IIT Madras, it was established in 1959 and according to NRF ranking, it is the number one IIT of India. So here is the information. So for general 112, 100 marks, that is for male, female, OBC 92, 75, EWS 106, 86 and for SC 50 and 72 and for ST it is 54 marks. So now if you talk about the next one, IIT Indore, uh, it was established in 2009. And here is the information for general 114 and 91 marks for OBC 93 73 marks for EWS 107 81 marks for SC it is 53 and 76 marks and for ST it is 78 and 43 marks. Sometimes more ST candidate apply for a particular college that's why the cutoff is more as compared to SC category because there is there is only 7.5 percent reservation for ST category as compared to 15 percent of SC category. So hope you get my point. So now if you talk about the next one. IIT Jodhpur 2008 is the establishment date of this college. So here is the information for general 104 and 84 marks for OBC 86 and 68 marks for EWS 98 and 79 marks for SC 48 and 78 marks for ST it is 55 and 42 marks. Now according to the trend you can see the female cutoff for SC category is more than male, male cutoff that is female uh, candidate are applying more as compared to male candidate particularly for SC category. That is I am talking about the applying to particular branch of a particular IIT college and not for the whole examination process. So now if you talk about the next one that is IIT Patna 2008 uh, was the establishment year of this college and here is the information for general 104 81 marks and for OBC 88, EWS 101 80 marks and for SC 49 65 marks and for ST it is 60 marks. So now if you talk about the next one that is IIT Hyderabad it was established in 2008 again. So one more thing I would like to inform you here that is some uh, brands are not having the female cutoff. So I am providing you the female cutoff for those brands where the female cutoff is applicable. Of course, you will able to take the male uh, male seat as well if you are eligible for that. That is if your rank will be there. But I am providing you the reserved marks. That's why marks a little bit better, a little bit more as compared to male for particularly SC candidate. I am I am talking about because you will be getting the better branch. So hope you get my point. So now let's talk about for general category. 124 and 103 marks for OBC 104 77 marks for EWS it is 113 and 89 marks for SC 58 and 46 marks and for ST 47 marks. So here you can see uh, you can see SC category female cutoff is low as, co as compared to male because the female cutoff is also available for the lowest possible branch. So now let's talk about the next one IIT Gandhinagar. So here is the information for general 114 90 marks OBC 1973 marks EWS 101 77 marks and for SC 52 75 marks, ST 64 46 marks. So now if we talk about the next one, IIT Roper 2008 was the establishment year of this college. So here is the information for general 111 89 marks, OBC 89 68 marks, EWS 114 and for SC it is 55 and 76 marks, not 170 it is 76 marks and for ST it is 64 and 46 marks. Now if you talk about the next one, IIT Bhubaneswar it was established in 2008. So here is the information general 115 and 84 marks for OBC 87 marks EWS 183 marks and for SC 51 marks ST 56 marks. Now if you talk about the next one IIT Varanasi that is IIT BHU. So here is the information that is uh, for general 94 90, uh, and 77 marks for OBC 82 EWS 94 SC 87 55 and for ST it is 38 marks only. So that means SC category are not having the separate reservation for the lowest possible one. That's why you are uh, you are required to score more marks as compared to ST category. So now if you talk about the next one that is IIT Vilayis, it was serviced in 2016 and this is the I think the lowest possible IIT if you compare it with the rest 22 IIT of India. So for general 188 and 91 marks, OVC 92, 69 marks, EWS 102, 79 marks. You may think that if it is lower than why I am I am I am required to score 108 marks. Why not 80 marks or 70 marks? Because the lowest possible branch means the lowest possible branch of this college, not other college. So these colleges are not having the uh, branch like material science or are a very low branch. But this college is having only the standard branch that is the core branch. That's why the lowest possible branch also are required to have more marks. For AWS 102 and 79, for SC 75 and 79. And for ST it is 60 and 53 marks, not 110, it is mistake, 60 and 53 marks. 
Now, if you talk about the next one, that is IIT Jammu. It was established in 2016 and uh, general category 103 and 81 marks for OBC 86, EWS 99, 75, SC 48 and 57 and for ST 53 and 42 marks will be required. So now if you talk about the next one, IIT Tirupati, it was established in 2015. So here is the information for general 105, 86 marks, OBC 1971 marks, EWS 183 marks and for SC 53, 52 marks. And for ST, it is 49, 72 marks. So now if you talk about the next one, IIT Palkad, it was established in 2015. So here is the information for general, 104, 85 marks. And for OBC, 88, 68, EWS, 176. And for SC, 52 and 88 marks. And for ST, it is 48 and 57 marks. So now if you talk about the next one, that is ISM Dhanbad. It was established in 1926. So here is the information for general, 105 and 81 marks. For OBC, 87 marks. EWS, 102 and uh, uh, 76 marks and, and for SC it is 50 and 56 marks and for ST it is 72 and 46 marks. So once again I would like to inform you cutoff depend on the uh, reservation type of a particular branch and also the type of uh, type of demand of that branch. If more number of students will apply for a particular branch the cutoff will go higher that is you have to score more marks. So hope you get my point. So next if you talk about the next one IIT Monday it was established in 2009. So here is the information for general 1 day 3 and 83 marks, OBC 86 marks, EWS 98, 74 marks, SC 48, 81 marks, ST 50 marks. So now if you talk about the next one, IIT Goa 2016. So here is the information for general 1 day 9, 91 marks, OBC 93 and 71 marks, EWS 1 day 10 and 83 marks and for SC 55 and 80 marks and for ST it is 47 and 53 marks. So this was all about the 23 IITs of India. I have discussed the minimum marks that you need to have to enter into a particular IIT. That is the lowest possible branch. For same, that is for CSE branch. You can watch my other video. I have already uploaded. You will be able to check the link in the i button as well as the description box. So hope you get this information very useful for you. So please try to subscribe the channel so that you will be getting all the update. And rank wise also I will provide you very soon once the examination will be done. I will try to provide you the cut of rank wise as well in the same channel. Thanks.